Hello. I was contacted by this uh, company called Ultra Human uh, to wear a glucose meter and to see what effect breathing, breathing exercises, breathing techniques. Today, we're going to focus on tumor breathing, simplified tumor breathing, but what the effect would be on your glucose level. Now let's let's talk a little bit about that before we start the breathing. It's going to take two minutes and then we're going to do like 20 rounds or 15 rounds to 20 of uh, simplified tumor breathing. And I will guide you through the whole process, of course, as you're used to. Now what happens, we have our sympathetic and parasympathetic, also known as fight or flight, high adrenaline and rest and digest low adrenaline and it's nice if you're able to move from one to the other at will and if we look at breathing you know like what would be the way to lower your heartbeat and lower your adrenaline levels is for example to slow down your breathing so if you want you can already while listening to me start slowing down your breathing your heartbeat will go down, adrenaline levels drop, and you activate that parasympathetic, you're calming down, or activate the rest and digest. What happens if we breathe deeper, which is with TUMO, TT, uh, TT, DMT version, we breathe deeper. Exactly the opposite. We actually get a higher heartbeat, adrenaline levels go up. Now, what does this have to do with glucose? very interesting because if we produce adrenaline this is like our our brain is thinking or we hack our brain by just deeper breathing is thinking there's a dangerous situation i need more strength so the glycogen in your muscle tissue that is stored there is made into glucose and released to your bloodstream so you can have like a spike of energy yeah so this is what i predict that during the deeper breathing phase, that the glucose levels go up. The difference between simplified TUMO, TT basic, the normal way, and TT DMT is that TUMO should be a bit lighter. So I don't ex expect to see a big, you know, spike in glucose. Well, with TT30, 30 times deep breathing, activating the sympathetic more, we should see a higher spike, but that's for another video. And if we do TT30 DMT, squeeze the blood up to the brain, there is even more of an adrenaline release and we should see even higher glucose levels. Anyway, that's my prediction. For now, let's do 15 to 20 rounds of simplified tumor breathing. Now start slowing down your breathing while well, state some basics when it comes to deep breathing breath hold techniques, which is never ever do this breathing technique while driving a car or when you're in the water because there is passing out danger. Slow down your breathing even more. Maybe you've heard this before, but I want to be very strict with this. So I keep on repeating this always before we do a breathing session. If you're epileptic or highly pregnant, also better not to practice deep breathing breath hold exercises. Now, slow down your breath even more. By slowing down our breathing, we calm down, we activate the parasympathetic, and maybe you start feeling your skin better. Now feel your skin and imagine that you're nothing but your skin. You're completely empty on the inside. Slow, deep breath in and out. Next is to place a, a imaginary ball of fire in your lower belly. So now you're an empty glass bottle with a ball of fire in your lower belly. And now we're gonna feed that fire by breathing into two nostrils, two channels, coming together in the lower belly, increasing that fire, your fire, your energy. And on the breath out, you breathe out through a central channel all the way to the crown of your head. 
Now please do the saddle. Now try to hold that ball of fire empty on the inside, breathing into two nostrils, two channels, coming together in your lower belly and breathing out through the central spine to the top of your head. And do this with every breath you take. Oh, I want to sing. Every breath you take. Let's not get there. We're going to start with simplified tumo dimension one just five deep breaths to the belly breath number six hold about 10 seconds and we breathe out slowly here we go nose in the mouth out belly only Deep in, empty your lungs. Deep in and hold. Ten seconds here. Hold after your breathing. Focus on your lower belly. And breathe out long and slow. Again, five deep breaths. Deeper, fully out, in deep and hold. Your attention is in your lower belly. And breathe out long and slow. Doesn't it feel good? Here we go again. Five deep breaths. Deeper. Fully out. Everything out, out, out. Deep in, hold. Focus on the lower belly. And breathe out long and slow. Okay, we're gonna jump to dimension three. Means five deep breaths in and out, everything stays the same, breath number six, hold. Now in our breath hold, we're locking our breath in our lower belly. This means, if you want, take a deep breath in. First, diaphragm down and then contract mula banda, or your muscles, like your butt muscle and your pelvic floor, simply said. <clears throat> I call it locking your breath though. First diaphragm down. If you find it difficult, take a deep breath in and swallow. Notice that your diaphragm goes down. It's just a little bit. And then your lower muscles. So we lock our breath in our lower belly. We're feeding that fire. And every breath you take, remember, feed that ball of fire and then breath out to the crown of your head. Here we go. 
three rounds here. Deep in, fully out. Breathe in, hold and lock. And breathe out. Again. Deep in, fully out. In deep, hold and lock. And breathe out. Again. Been fully out in deep hold and lock. And breathe out. Again, but now we're gonna hold our breath a little bit longer. Here we go. Fully out. In. Hold and lock. Arm and go. Breathe through the crown of your head. Again, we're going to hold a little bit longer. <clears throat> Fully out. In deep hold and lock. Uh, 
breath. Focus on your lower belly. Keep on holding your breath. And breathe out, crown of the head, please. Now we're going to go a little bit further. Now when we hold our breath, you don't focus on your lower belly, but you focus on energy going up. So build up energy in your lower belly is going up through the central spine. See if that works. And we're going to add another thing is towards the end of the breath hold, we take an extra zip. It's for me like, you know, like, so we fill up our lungs again. So we can hold our breath a little bit longer. Probably you will be a little bit warmer. Deep in, fully out. Deep in, hold and lock. And imagine that energy going up the central spine. Take that extra zip. Now let go of those muscles and then breathe out. Crown of the head, please. Let's do this again. Fully out. And deep hold the lock. Energy up. Extra zip. Relax those muscles and breathe out to the crown of the head. Yeah. Now, last round. <clears throat> I have a lot of kids, so they keep on moving in and out.
of this video. A bit background noise, maybe. What we're going to do, we're going to breathe 20 times pretty intensely, so a higher chance of passing out. Now, I want to do that because I know that there should be more adrenaline release, and I will explain in a bit. So make sure you're safe. Maybe hands on the ground in front of you. I'm doing this. Breathe with me. The rest stays the same. Locking the breath, pushing the energy up, holding longer. <clears throat> 20 intense breathing. Fully out. In deep, hold and low. This is normal. Take an exercise. <laughs> to the crown of the head. Now go back to vase breathing. Fire lower belly, empty glass bottle, two channels, breathe out to the crown of your head. Just a minute or so. Now this is the end of the breathing session. Let me share with you what happened with my glucose. Of course, the opposite of what I expected. So, um, I started on 104 
And I expect by deeper breathing that my adrenaline levels go up and glycogen is transferred into glucose so that should raise my glucose level in my blood. But it went down. <laughs> it's amazing, you know, like remember, you know nothing. It went down in total, it's on 91 now, and it was on 104. And it kind of steadily went down. So no difference, deep breathing or breathing out slowly, nothing like that. Kind of like from 104, boop, 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 boop to 91. It's even 98 at this moment. Now this could be for several reasons. Number one reason is, I think that you need a certain high amount of adrenaline to really transfer glycogen into glucose. You know, it is, this is triggered through a higher level of adrenaline and not just immediately. That may be it. I'm not sure. I'm just thinking out loud. It could be that I'm used to, I do a lot of breathing, that my body is so used to this breathing that no adrenaline is produced at all. Um, that could be a reason. And honestly, I would love to know what you think is the reason. Because according to the measurement in this video, simplified tumor breathing, get your glucose level down. All right. It, please let me know if you have a comment and because I think this is super interesting. And then in the next video in this series, you will see that we are going to do four rounds of TT30 breathing. And um, that deeper, longer deep breathing phase should release more adrenaline. And maybe we trigger that glucose production then. Anyway. And um, that's it for this video. If you like content like this, please subscribe. Very much appreciated, not only by me, but also these kids that keep on running around and that are here continuously in the background. And if you really want to be annoyed every time you I post a video, click that notification button, because then you will get an email when I post a video. Okay, thank you very much. Um, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.